Whatever this is, I suggest you leave that house before you do anything you're going to regret. Listen to me. Do not hurt that little girl. You don't have to do this. It's already done. Yay! Kath and Jovi, I love you in a friendly way. Yeah, I love you in a friendly way too. Yes. Yay! We've never dated and we never will, so That's keep right. dreaming. That's right. So I'm Kat. And I'm Mike. And today we're reviewing the thriller, The Call. The Call. The Call. It's not called The Thriller, The Call. It's just called The Call. That's right. It's Halle Berry. You know what? Every movie I see her in, I wish that her hair was just long. It's not enough, but it's all curly and she's all that But that woman's got some, some good hair. She always just like the short hair because she's such an attractive woman. I just wish she grew it a little bit longer. But in this one, it's like crazy. It's probably her natural hair. Well, she looks like a mad scientist. A wig? I really liked it. It stars Halle Berry. Yes. And she And she's black. She is a mix. Yeah. Very I, attractive mix. Yeah, and I find that the most attractive people are mixes. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. I myself mix, you're a mix, and J Hoof's a pure. So yeah, you can tell. That makes sense. Yeah. So it follows her. She is a 911 operator, and it shows you how stressful that job could be, you know, walking people through horrific moments in their lives. There is a serial killer out there, and she intercepts two of the calls, yeah. and she tries to save the girls, of course, because that's her job. It's exciting. And the fir and if you've seen the trailer, you know that, like, the first call, she messes up. But I love the beginning of this. The first two acts I thought were amazing. I was so yeah. captivated yeah. with it. But something happened at the end. That I, it just lost me. In the first hour of the movie, it, it, it felt so like authentic. Like this yeah. is an actual 911 uh, inbound response area. Response area. And, I, I, and it really got me thinking like, we might have this, this crisis once or twice in our lifetime, but these people have to deal with that every day. It's such a stressful job. Yeah. But I guess at the same time, it would also be rewarding because you probably save a lot of those people. But what they talk about is that you don't get the closure because you don't yeah. always know how it ends. Like, yes, you set them up and you send the ambulance there, you send the yeah. police there, but you don't know what happens. You don't know if someone goes to prison because they stabbed their wife. I would never be able to do that job. No. I will not do that job. And yeah, that's what's the best part about this movie, I think, is that it gets you thinking about those brave souls that you know take those calls mm -hmm. every day. I also liked the villain in this. I thought he, they did a really good job of it's creating him, having his background story. It's very Silence like that. of the Lambs. Exactly. Yeah. Give me back my fucking dog! Oh! <laughs> I was doing an impression of the guy. Yeah. That's yeah, why were. I yeah, wasn't you crazy. Yeah. I, crazy. Can you do it? No. Cat's a little hungover. It's St. Patty's Day, so and hungover. it's it's like noon, and she's I'm so wasted. Drunk. She couldn't wait. <laughs> Ah! She actually did the things you want her to do. Like you're yeah. like, don't go in that area until you call someone, and then she like pulls out her phone, and you're like, yeah, she's doing it. Yeah, yeah. Which but made sometimes really she didn't do it. <sighs> Cinematography I thought was pretty good. There was some creepy shots when the kidnapping was happening. They had like this little fish-eyed lens and they got really close to the victim's face. Yeah, that was really neat. I, I thought like that, that was really shot well. And they had a lot of those creepy shots that it seems like the audience is spying, sort of like shots where it's like. Doo -doo. Which was neat. Call it the cat creeper shot. The cat creeper shot. Yes. Yeah. They did a really great job making you nervous. I mean, for most of the movie, I was like this. The yeah. person I, I was ah! like, oh! My femur. Oh! It's down there. Yeah, I don't know how you got nice. there. But I don't I'm know. impressive. You're like Goro. You got four arms. My major problem with this, I love the beginning. I love the first hour. Then something happened in the third act that I can't reveal without spoiling the movie for everyone. So I'm not going to say it. But trust me, I didn't like it how it ended and what the outcome was. Um, for that reason alone, I'm giving this movie like a 6.5 out of 10. I thought it was a good thriller. I, I just didn't like that closure, that conclusion. The third act just didn't work for me. That's where it lost me. I was really Solid. on the edge of my seat. So I still think it's worth seeing maybe a rent or uh, mm. you know on TV. Your teeth are really white. Yes, I put baking soda on it. Oh, yeah. I should do that. And the fluorescence just ding, 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 ding. So what do you give it at 10? So out of 10, I would have to give it an 8.5. I really liked this. I thought this was a solid thriller. I called my mom after and I was like, you should go see this movie. Mommy, how did that be so amazing? It was so exciting the entire time. I loved the first two acts. And honestly, the third act I liked. You got to know more about the bad guy. And the way that that unraveled was really well done. Halle Berry did everything I wanted her to do at the end. It just suddenly was like, bam. Credits. And I really like that. Bam. Credits. Bam. Jaeger oh. bombs. Oh. Jaeger. So many Jaeger, Jaeger bombs. Vodka. Jaeger bombs. Jaeger bombs on my face. Put the alcohol in my face. I really liked it. I would 100% recommend that you go see it this week. It is wonderful. 
And and if you're a man and you've been watching our dating tips and you're wanting to get a lady, go with that lady. You need some fucking help. <laughs> So you might notice that I'm wearing some uh, 3KB merchandise here and you can go to Chop Shop Goods and check it out. You can purchase some of these hoodies and t-shirts and buttons. Mm -hmm. And I just want to take a moment, we've never thanked him, but the gentleman that created this illustration here, Zach Karst, thank you so much. I mean, you did an we excellent job. We use them there, job. we use them on a Facebook, we use them in our introduction. They're yep. fantastic. And Zach, you are the man. You're very talented. Thank you for making me look Asian. Yeah, and you made my nose look so cute and little. And you made Jay look very depressed. Which is perfect. So thank you so much, Zach, for the support and making these illustrations. You helped create our identity. And we're sorry we took so long to uh, thank you, Zach. I know. I'm so sorry. You want to know a secret, Kat? Yeah. I haven't been to the dentist in over nine years. Shut up, really? Yeah. Dude, you should go, you might have cavities. I'm fine. Oh, I forgot to turn around. Son of a bitch. Three kilobytes.